If I'm not doing what I want to do, what's the purpose of, of making art? My whole idea of making art is you make what you want to make at that moment. I think many people are wondering, is this what's happening in politics? Is this, and they, they're questioning. And then when I'm able to make an image that is able to consolidate all of that and put it out there, try to get as many ideas and as many things that are sort of in the, in the brain waves of people and in conversation and consolidate it into, into something that is understood. What I'm doing is testing censorship. I enjoy the, the pushing the limits and trying to see how far I can go with something before I get a knock on the door or, or um, I get audited for my taxes or something. We have so many distractions and so many things happening either on the internet or in real world or on television that when you have a strong image, it sort of makes you stop and pay attention to it. On television, in the street, a street poster or even uh, flipping through your phone. That's part of the success of the images lately is, is this idea that you understand it right away. I work in various different ways. So the medium is not as important to me as the message that I'm trying to get across. So there are times when I'll paint something, I'll collage it, I'll do digital work, or I'll combine all of these things. The way I feel about style is, is the way I feel about a dictator. <laughs> It's always put upon you by clients, by audience, by people that buy your work. It feels uh, tyrannical to me. This idea that you are an artist and for the next 60 years of your life, you have to be making the same looking thing. Time Magazine was really the place where I learned the most about illustration because I started hiring other artists. I got to see how they promoted their work, how the, they sketched. And in that process, you're always learning and you understand how the business works. At some point, I, I just wanted to start my own studio and just do illustration full time. So I left Time Magazine. My grandfather was a, a farmer. So they were getting up at five in the morning, working fields. My other grandfather was a carpenter and I used to help him. I would straighten out the nails for him so he could reuse them. I grew up with people that worked every day with their hands. That was what they did. And I know how many people look to this country for guidance. How many artists look to what I'm doing? Artists in Cuba, Turkey, China. So I want to, through my work, show what I can do here. I have friends in Cuba that went to jail that, that are tortured for their art. So I'm here and, and, and this is what this country is about. If that's not what this is about, I, I, why, what am I doing here? The most important thing I think for an artist to continue doing their entire life is make work outside of assigned work. If you're working on assignment all the time, you're always getting hired for the thing you did in the past. <laughs> if you continue your personal work, that's fire for new directions in the future. And then you can show that personal stuff to clients. And they're like, yeah, I like that thing that you're doing. And then you can weave that into your commission work. Weather, weather.